All right, guys, so yesterday we talked about the Bayonetta 3 boycott situation. This came about when the OG voice actor of Bayonetta, Helena Taylor, came out, made a series of videos where she disclosed that she had to audition to reprise the role for Bayonetta in Bayonetta 3. She got the job. She was offered $4,000, which she felt was immensely underpaid. So she basically didn't take the role. And she spoke out after... I guess Nintendo or Platinum Games or whoever's in charge basically told social media that she wasn't going to reprise the role because there was, I guess, conflicts that were overlapping each other. So I guess she felt disrespected. We made a video about it yesterday. If you haven't looked at it on the channel, yeah, I'm going to leave a link down below in the description as well as in the card up here. Or in the end screen. You can click the end screen off this video. But basically, in a nutshell... She felt disrespected and she basically just outed this. She said she has nothing to lose. She's not afraid of NDAs. They're not going to take anything from her because she can't even, you know, she has no money. Basically, she hinted at. So anyways, the um, the original series director. So the series director of Bayonetta, basically, uh, Kamiya, who has a notorious reputation for, I guess, his behavior online responded yesterday he basically gave a um a threat <laughs> saying you know those who can't follow his policies uh will be banned we're gonna take a look at this real quick because this leads into a situation that uh is ongoing actually and um so <laughs> bayonetta 3 executive producer hideki kamiya restricted on twitter amid voice actor controversy and we are we already have a funny update in regards to this but this still ties into what we're going to be talking about so following controversial back and forth between platinum games hideki kamaya kamiya pardon me butchering his japanese name and bayonetta's helena taylor the former's twitter becomes restricted so going on to this this is in response to the situation this article recaps it right here Basically saying, you know, the video where she un disclosed um, all the things like that. So he responded basically saying um, that Taylor was misrepresenting the situation and called what she said untruth. He then not so vaguely threatened everyone online by ending this tweet with beware of my rules. This alluded to Kamaya's well-known trigger finger for blocking folks, which is anyone's right in social media. However, it's clear that many viewed Taylor's Bayonetta 3 video, realized the injustice done here, and took that to Kamaya. Right or not, Kamaya block responded by block as many people as he could, so Twitter restricted his account. So yeah, the consensus right now is that his account was temporarily restricted because of the amount of people that he was blocking. Uh to the point where Twitter's automatic systems defined it as a mass blocking potentially done by a bot. With a number of people responding to Taylor's boycott, it's certainly imaginable and po possible that Kamaya, Kam Kamiya, I'm so, I keep wanting to say Kamehameha, blocked so many at once that this resulted in his account becoming restricted as Twitter sought to understand what was happening. The technology in and of itself, that is. Of course, there are a number of reasons that this could be the case, but it seems to be what's happening here. Now, we, we talked about this yesterday, of course. This is still a developing situation. We know Helena Taylor's side, Platinum Games, and Kamaya really haven't said their part. They really haven't said their side. There's two sides to every story. Like I said yesterday, I feel, yeah, she has every right to feel disrespected that uh, they only offered her 4000 for a game. I'm not a voice actor. I don't know the industry standards for what a full game or a full movie or anything like that gets, but it always seems like the video game industry tends to get the short end of the stick when it comes to the voice actors getting paid. Again, I know a couple other actors that voice in video games. You'd be surprised. One of the actors I talked to said that he hasn't even gone into studio in years. He just gets a check from Nintendo for the work that he did a couple years ago. So, is this a Nintendo thing where they offer $4,000 as some kind of bare minimum? I don't know. I, I haven't looked at any agreements. I haven't looked at any contracts. We don't know. 
of course, her fans are going to be loyal. They're going to support the boycotting, even though I don't like the boycott, like calling to arms to, oh, I, I they offered me 4000 and I felt disrespected, so boycott this game. I'm not all about that. I, I, I don't like the way that that was done. And then if you watched my video yesterday, the other thing that I didn't like was her basically, I guess, uh, downplaying the new actress. The one that is going to be voicing uh, Bayonetta now. She said she doesn't have the right to say she's the voice of Bayonetta. Or that she doesn't have the right to sign merchandise. And I felt in a, in a way that that was really disrespectful, entitled, and rude of Helena Taylor. If you want to watch the video, you know, we'll talk about that. But the situation happened where Kamea basically was blocking everybody left and right. And then he got restricted. But now... People are posting up that his account is now gone. So maybe people reported it nonstop until it just kind of got deleted. Who knows, really? Um, Taking a look at that, a whole bunch of people are basically going on about this and talking about it. You know, I've always loved Hideki Kamaya and his work, so seeing him become a little bitch over serious criticism of his company really makes me sad. Don't worship mortal men, kids. So you got to remember, nobody's perfect. You know, nobody's perfect. This guy is basically having a huge amount of pitchforks coming at him over this situation. And it's crazy just how big this backlash is right here. Like taking a look at it, people are saying like the man, the mad man actually did it. He found a way to block us all. I mean, the memes are definitely here of this situation. <laughs> the memes are here. Um, so his account is apparently gone. I guess he got basically banned off because people were just reporting him. I don't know if, if you get deleted for mass blocking like that, but the situation definitely is causing quite a stir. You can see this individual right here will never purchase a project with Kamiya's name on it. Helena Taylor deserved better shame and Hideki's online attitude is disgusting. What a horrible representation for you and all involved. I've canceled Bayonetta three and boycott platinum games um, again, this whole boycott situation, I wanted to kind of go into it a little bit. RGT said it best. There's companies out there that use children to make their products like Nike and, you know, <laughs> different, different clothing companies, shoe companies, um, manufacturers in other countries where child labor laws aren't as prominent. Are people boycotting those products or are you boycotting Bayonetta 3 just because a woman that you simp over is telling you to do it because she wasn't going to get paid as much as she was going to get paid? Take uh, Kamaya's blocking and all that to the side, his little attitude on the internet. Put that on the side. What are, what are we really fighting for? She claimed in the video that she was taking a stand for people, for workers' rights and stuff. Again... She had all this time to speak up about it, and now she's saying it when it's close to the launch date. Something doesn't jive right with me in this situation. And now Kamaya is gone. So who knows if he's permabanned? Who knows if he's ever going to have another Twitter account? Who knows how long the situation is going to go? We don't know the two sides to the story. So I I have no clue, guys. <laughs> I'm the situation is definitely developing as we speak. Who knows what's going to be next? Who knows if there's going to be legal action or anything like that? But I'm not boycotting the game just because somebody on Twitter said to do it. Uh, especially, if anything, being told that I need to boycott it makes me want to double down and buy the game anyway because I'm that stubborn of a son of a bitch. I don't know about you guys. So I'm going to leave it right there. Again, this situation, just, you know, we're hearing one side of the story and... The other side isn't looking much better. This guy basically blocked everybody until his account got deleted. So...
who knows what's going on. His response was pretty shitty, though. I'll give you that. Um, you know, I, it's 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 just this whole situation's a mess. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching.